Hello friends, welcome to Hilliard, Ohio. I'm here at Crooked Can, Ohio version. I've been to the one in Florida in Winter Garden. Now it's time for Hilliard. Let's go have some beers. It's a big brewery. A very large outdoor seating area. And like the Winter Garden location, there's a market attached to the brewery. Outdoor seating also includes this street area and across the way here there's fountains that are usually going off when the weather's nice but it's a beautiful fall day and it's a little chilly for those fountains I like the mums tis the season that's cool large tasting room too very large good man how are you good What's, uh, what's hot on the streets here? Uh, so, I'm, the third rail is like my go-to, uh, but the orange sense is really nice. That's our fruited IPA. You mentioned third rail twice, so I guess yeah. I gotta have that. That's a good one. Third rail, hazy pale ale, 5.3%. Down the hatch. Oh, citrus, citrus and kind of light, light, light finish. A little orangey at the finish, but super orangey up front. That's a New England style, hazy, see the haze, not bad. They do have a brew theater here. You can see everything pretty plainly through the looking glass here. A lot of fermenters, making a lot of beer in this joint. Well, I finished that last beer, so I ordered another one. Got the Barson. It's called the Burgermeister. It's a five and a half percent. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. It reminds me of Red Dog beer a little bit. I remember the finish in Red Dog was really good. I don't think they make it anymore. In fact, I think I mentioned this several videos back, maybe 20 videos ago. Something about Red Dog and how I liked it. It was one of my first beers I ever bought. You had to buy them in Oklahoma. You had to buy them in a liquor store. You couldn't buy them in a, a regular grocery store. Oh, that's really good. Great bread-like finish on that one. Excellent. Let's walk around here. I'll show you around the, the marketplace a little bit. So see the tasting room and the bar here. And then we'll walk our way Right here to the marketplace. It's not as big as the Winter Garden location, but see it's similar. You have dumplings here, meatball mafia. Here we have well something coming soon. Center Street Market. Maybe that's what this is, but something's coming soon there. Hot mess. Cheesecake girl is here. From bakery. A lot of, a lot of cell phone and happen in here. And you have pita. Pita stuff. And an extra tasting room is somewhat closed off. Well, totally closed off. It says right here, for a private event. So you can rent it out if you'd like. There's a lot of good options here. Maybe eight or so. I've been here on the weekends a couple times and the place gets packed out, especially in the summertime. I've been up here visiting. This market is always going. Lots of people hanging around here. It's probably one of the most, or the most popular place in Hilliard to hang out on the weekend. Here on the top of the wall, they got some tin signs with some of their beers on them. I don't know if any of these are available for sale, but we'll look in the swag section and find out. Their swag is right behind the bar. Whether the life is better at the Crooked Can sign. They got crawlers up here and crawlers you can get filled. T-shirts, hats, warm weather hats. And that's about it. Oh, you got a fanny pack too. And flights are available as well. Four beers on a flight. Beers to go can be found behind the bar as well. Small cooler. You probably noticed, but here in the back half of the tasting room is another bar, which they do keep open in the times that I've been here because it is so packed. And like the Winter Garden location, they have this indoor outdoor bar serving station as well. Such a nice autumn evening here. People just enjoying themselves. This is one of those serve your water yourself 
sort of places. I like that. What's going on? Thank you, sir. Dog check, 5.2% brown ale. I think dog is a some kind of a relationship to the Cleveland Browns, like the dog pound. Nice beer, I like that. You can tell right away it's a brown. Very nice beer. I compare this to the Bold City Duke's Brown. It's pretty similar, pretty similar recipe, I'm sure. Very good beer, great finish. But very rich. It's not sweet, but it's rich. It's got a lot of body to it. I like this beer a lot. It's really dark. I think it's the darkest beer that they have. As you can tell from the view behind me, there's not that many people here in the tasting room. It's a Monday night, which is kind of rare these days to see a brewery open on a Monday. For whatever reason, breweries close on Mondays and sometimes Tuesdays. I don't know why that is. People drink beer every day of the week. Why would you close for any reason? I don't know. I don't know why breweries do that. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me, but they don't. They're open seven days a week. So you can enjoy their beer all the time. And they can make money from that beer all the time. I think it makes a lot of sense. Okay, friends, it's pumpkin time. You know, it's full. It's almost Halloween. They sell this beer called Pumpkin Jack. They don't make it here. It's made by McKinsey's up in Michigan, I think. I think McKinsey's is in Michigan. They gave me a sample of it. Some people over here were freaking out about how good it is. So they said I should try it. Well, here I am. That is really nice. That's, that's like a, that's beautiful. That is really nice. Good balanced pumpkin beer. I do not order pumpkin beers because most of the time, they taste like trash to me. They're too sweet, they're too vanilla-y, you know, it's, you know, maybe because it's a newer thing and in the last 10 years to be making these, people are honing in those recipes, but most of the time they just taste like trash. Let's face it, some people like them. If you like the sweet beers, you, you drink like uh, seltzers, you probably love these pumpkin beers, the sweeter stuff. If you love those, you're gonna probably pass out if you taste this, because it's amazing. If you're just a regular beer drinker like myself, you like the standard style beers, you're still gonna love this. This is a really good beer. I think I should make my way to McKinsey's sometime pretty soon. Excellent beer. It's got this nice gingerbread type finish to it. I love it. But not enough to get a full one. I'm gonna finish this one here and call it a day. Well, you hear the orange is sus. It's yeah. supposed to be really good. Yeah, is Do you it want not? Sample it? Yeah. Just pour me one. I'll okay. about Just try it. I can recommend it. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Cool. Thank well, you. everybody seems to think the orange is sus is really good, so I'm going to have another one. Thanks, dude. Welcome. I'm texting with a local friend a couple minutes ago, and she says, you got to try the orange is sus if they have it on, because they don't have it on all year, and it's really good. It's her favorite beer, so I thought I'd give it a try. This is a New England IPA. Comes in at 6% ABV. Wow. That tastes like a creamsicle. That is a total creamsicle. It's very nice. I I think this might be the best creamsicle beer that I've ever had. Uh, Descent makes a, a really good creamsicle type of beer called the Annual Pass Holder. I think that's right. I hope I'm not mis misquoting that. It does taste like a uh, Dole Whip a little bit. If you're familiar with the Disney parks, the Dole Whip is very amazing. And some breweries have taken on making a beer that tastes a lot like it. This is probably the best one that I've had, I must say. Excellent beer, great finish, just the right amount of orange. It's not over the top. It's not like you're drinking an orange juice. This is really good. I was not expecting to like this so much. This is a very good beer. Thanks for the suggestion. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining me today, friends, here in Hilliard, Ohio, at Crooked Can Brewing Company. I appreciate your company out here on this wonderful fall night. I'll see you at the next brewery.